Hello again, everybody. This is Johnny Glenn with Best Price Nutrition. Uh, today we're going to be going over protein bars. Um, we get a lot of questions about protein bars. High protein, low carb, high carb, and all that stuff. You know, when we talk about different sources of protein, you know, we always talk about it. and this, We say that, you know, protein powder is going to be king in terms of quality, clean, you know, a powder is always going to be superior in that sense. Mm -hmm. um, after that, with bars and ready-to-drinks, you're really talking about convenience, you know. Yeah. For some people, just not as convenient to mix up the powder in a shaker cup. So, and, and they like the taste of the bars and stuff, too, and, and some people like the ready-to-drinks as well. Yeah, it's, it's uh, you know, it's, it's healthier than going out and eating hamburgers and things like that. So It's you, cheaper, too. Yeah, it's cheaper. It really is, actually, now, uh, with how protein bars are. But, um, yeah, it, it is generally just all about convenience. And these are, you know, definitely, if, if, if you're looking for, uh, can we, could we say this should be your preferred source of protein? Probably not. You know, because there's everything else that comes along with them. Generally, protein bars use cheaper sources of protein than what you would get from a, pro, or a whey protein shake. They're being heated up to. When they're being heated and, and all these other ingredients that they have to put inside there to make them a solid bar. Yeah, and that being said, there's, it, it's not like they're these terrible things. We just don't want to give off that. But if you're comparing it to a powder, a powder is going to be a superior source Definitely. of protein for you. But these are convenient, and let's face it, they taste good. And mm -hmm. they've gotten a lot better at making these taste good. I mean, some of you taste like a candy bar. So that's a nice thing. It's just sometimes like lens of the sugar alcohol sometimes in there. Mm -hmm. They can, if somebody's had certain bars, sometimes there's a little bit more in there and it's going to give you some gas and an upset stomach sometimes. So it's, it, it all depends upon the bar. Again, we don't want to give off that vibe that every protein bar you're going to be running to the toilet. That's just not the case. Um, it's just that some sit with you better than others and that's mm -hmm. typically why. So we've got a few examples up here of bars. Uh, we'll start off here with the two to one bars. The uh, two to one bars are thought to be a two to one ratio of protein to carbohydrates. That's the idea behind them. Um, but that doesn't include the fat. There's a lot of yeah. fat, like in this particular bar. So this bar here has 300 calories. So it's a lot of calories. So if you're looking to get some calories, you know, in a, at a pretty quick, convenient source, if you're in school or you're on the run at work and you, and you just need some calories because you're active, you're doing triathlons, or you're just working out really intense and you're not, you know, overly concerned with calories, then, you know, that, that's a good bar. Mm -hmm. You know, 300 calories and you're getting, um, Sorry, I'm looking at this upside down. Apologies. 30 grams of protein per bar, so that's pretty good. Good at protein, definitely. And you've tasted these. I know I have. What's your thought yeah? About? They taste good. They they really do. And a lot of that has to do with you know they add the fats and things like that in there to make them taste good. Um, I'm not sure what the fat source is inside those. But well, this uh, is peanut butter, so I'm peanut sure butter. that's yeah, part so of it. I mean, they do add peanut butter to it, so they do taste good. Like John was saying, it's convenient. Uh, 30 grams of protein is a good dose of protein. Yeah, and, and, and the bars, if you ha if you haven't had them in a while, they're pretty soft. You're not going to get the jaw workout you're used to with most of them, where you feel like, you know, you chewed on a, your your dog's chew toy or something like that. You know, they're that's much better. And the addition of the sugar alcohol not only is it a sweetener, but it also keeps the bar soft and helps. Yeah, the texture. yeah. And they add the sugar alcohols in there because they need to sweeten it with something, and, and they want to control the amount of. Uh, uh, moisture, moisture, and, and they also want a carb to be put in there that's not going to affect your blood sugar levels. Yeah, it is. You know, if you remember back in the day, everyone thought, well, these carb bars only have two grams of carbs or something. Well, they changed the labeling laws where they had to include sugar alcohols as a carbohydrate. So they still are about four, four point two calories per gram, but they don't act in your body like a carbohydrate in the sense that you're not going to get the big insulin spike, which is the big difference. It's still calories, it's still a source of energy, but you're not getting that insulin spike. So that's exactly. that's the way to think of them. Um, another bar that's it's on the higher calorie range is over on this side. It's the Zero Impact Bar from VPX. Why don't you go ahead and Yeah, there, there's 400 calories inside here, so that, that that's so a, a big, meal. That's, and they're big, you know, heavy bars. Yeah. And you can eat half of it too, by the way. Mm -hmm. So you could. Uh, there's 16 grams of fat. This is a little higher on the... On, uh, the range of, of having more fats inside of it. Uh, there's 30 grams of protein, 35 grams of carbs. So this is a, a true meal replacement bar. There's a lot of fiber in that one too, I think. Right? Yeah, this one... Uh, six grams, six grams six of fiber. Five grams of fiber. So, yeah. so a pretty good dose of fiber. Uh, That's going to make you feel sugar. full too. That fiber is going to expand in your stomach make you feel more full. So. Yeah, and this one, uh, the VPX Zero Impact Bars, they call it Zero Impact because they're, they're saying that the carbs in here don't impact your blood sugar levels. They're going more of the whole food route. Um, they use uh, sunflower butter, almond butter. Um, they even add peanut butter, CLA inside there, um, honey, uh, pumpkin powder, brown rice syrup, rolled oats. So they are taking more of the whole food approach, approach uh, to this. And that's a bar too that's not coated in chocolate, so if you're worried about heat or something, that's something else to consider when you look at bars. Um, some of them are like oat-based like this, yeah. where you can you know, have them in the heat, 
and you know it, it might get a little softer and stuff. But you don't have to worry about the chocolate when you open yeah. it up, and it's just if you, all over the place. You know that kind of with uh, the warmer months coming. Uh, yeah, soon. that's yeah. something to consider. Yeah. So definitely. Well, and then the uh, I mean, is there anything else you want to add on the zero pack? No, that's it. really it. So, just a true meal bar, higher calorie. It'll fill you up. It's, yeah. it's four hundred calories, so that's that's quite a meal there. Um, now next are these. These are very popular. These are the B Energy, the Power Crunch bars. These are like wafers, and I'll say, I mean, again, with taste, it's subjective. They taste phenomenal. I, yeah, I don't know how good. they do it, but it tastes great. It's all whey protein. That's the only source. Um, I think there's milk protein as well in here. Yeah, milk protein as well. These are a lower carbohydrate bar. Uh, they do have a little bit on the fats. So there's some fat in them. There's 210 calories in this bar. It's 13 grams of fat, um, 10 grams of carbohydrate, so it's pretty low, and 13 grams of protein. So it's less in terms of calories, you know, 210. It's more like a, a snack size, and, and you know you can eat something like this and eat some almonds, or maybe mm -hmm. have a. Some people might even want it with a protein drink yeah. if they want some extra protein from somewhere else. But these really do taste good. So sometimes maybe if they help curb your your uh, sweet tooth, mm -hmm. you know that's another way to use them. If you say, hey, you know, if I don't have these, you know, as part of my meal plan or something like that, well, I'm just going to go eat Snickers bars and, and other yeah. candy bars and stuff like that. Well, then you know, this yeah, is if they keep you from eating badly, you, like John said, Snickers bars or you know hamburgers and things like that, then they're Serve a purpose. Then. Yeah. So, definitely a good bar. Um, there's a lot of flavors of these two. I guess the best way to what would you? What's the cookie? I'm thinking, like a sugar cookie, almost not sugar. Okay, the wafer. What are those? Wafers? <sighs> yeah. All I can say is wafers. So that's wafers. All I can yeah. Think I guess. Yeah. They're just. I thought uh, that'd be a name for them. But yeah. yeah they're just. Uh, they're, yeah. They're. They're very. They taste great. Very so, good. if you want some, if you got a sweet tooth and you think these are gonna help hold you over, then get them. You know, even if you only eat half of it, and then save the other half for another day. That's another way to use these. Next is the Supreme Protein Bar. That's kind of in between. Um, this is the snack size of it. There's also a full size of it, which is like a 30 gram of protein one. Yeah. Um, so this is the, the snack size, which would basically be the equivalent of eating half of the other half bar. But some people just, if they, they maybe can't, once they get half, they ain't stopping. So you know, <laughs> forget yeah. it. So you know, just get the smaller one if that's the case, if you can't, uh, if you can't put the fork down. So mm -hmm. eat that one. Um, this particular bar and this size, the snack size, it's 190 calories. Um, it's seven grams of fat, 15 grams of carbs and 15 grams of protein. So moderate calories. Yeah. Taste, again, is the name of the game. With Taste these bars. is very good. They've got quite a few varieties of these now. I know they have a cookies and cream, like a rocky rolled almond. The original is like the caramel nut, just yeah. like a 100 grand bar type Car deal. Caramel nut, and they have a caramel peanut butter, and then they have a peanut butter pretzel, uh, and the newest is a peanut butter and jelly. Which we just and there's a lot of bars right now that are in like this class where we would put them where they taste good. They're in this mm -hmm. calorie range. We just brought this one up as an example because it's very popular. Mm -hmm. Um, so again, you can use this as a snack. It can do the same as the BNRG. Uh, you know, th that's the way I would put you know protein bars in, in context. You know, is that they're convenient. You know, yeah. you're paying for the convenience of them, and th th you could certainly do a lot worse. Yeah, so. definitely, definitely. I mean, if you if you're you know in a, in a physically demanding job where you can't stop and eat a full meal, uh -huh. these are great. Very convenient. Yeah, pack them with you. Bring them. Keep them at work in a drawer or something like that. You can't make it out for lunch if you're in the office and you know you're working a lot. That's something else you can do. So. I uh, hope this was helpful for you guys. If you have any questions or need some recommendations, we're happy to recommend bars. Just the one thing to consider is that it's subjective. You know, one man's trash is another man's treasure. I guess like the same with with food. I mean, you know, some people like certain things, others don't. So when we're giving opinions about uh, bars, it's it's purely subjective. We can certainly you know comment on the texture and stuff mm -hmm. like that. And, and taste, we'll be happy to give recommendations again, but we can't make any promises because of the subjectiveness of it. Yeah. So. Um, if you have any questions, just go ahead and post them in the comment section of the video or on the blog. Also, you can find us at facebook.com forward slash best price nutrition. Thank you.